Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to rep up in my career extremely fast with any archetype that has a you know, shot creating in the archetype. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys today how to rep up fast with a pure shot creator. All right. Now, like I said, you can use this method even if you have an archetype that, you know, part of your archetype is shot creating. Okay. Now, before I start the video, big shout out to Ty Sino. I got some of this method from him. So go sub to him. His link is in the description down below. Another great shot creator. So once again, shout out to him. Go sub to him. Now, I'm going to be completely honest, man. I'm not the best at this method yet. Right now, I'm only getting around 50 to 60K a game. One time, I did get 70K. But the gameplay I'm going to be showing you guys today, my career, I ended up getting like 52,000 or something like that. Now, that gameplay right there, I'm going to show you examples on what I do and how I get it quickly. Uh, now, as you guys don't know, I put it on Twitter yesterday. I think I'm going to grind this pure shot creator all the way up to a 94 because at 94, you can speed boost and momentum crossover. And I'm going to be able to ISO with a pure shot creator, bro. That's going to be cheese. But anyways, that's off subject. Let's go ahead and hop into it. All right, man. So the number one tip I have for you guys is to get off as many floaters as you can. Once again, shout out to Ticino for this method right here. It's very quick. All right. You get a lot of XP for every individual floater you do, every one you make. Now, what I like to do is I call for a screen on the right side. I'm just a lot more comfortable on the right side. I call for a screen. I do the Pro 3 animation to the left. I run baseline. If there's not a center in the paint, then I get really close to the rim, really close to the goal, and I, you know, basically trigger the floater animation. That's what I do. Now, I would highly recommend to trigger the floater animation when you're all the way up under the rim. That's when I would do it. Uh, you're pretty much going to make that around 90% of the time. Now, another method I have for you guys is when the center is sitting in the paint and you're going to miss the floater. Don't even take floaters. Literally do the same thing. Do the hesitation. Do a crossover back over to the right, and the center will stay in between you and the paint and every time you just want to take a dribble pull up and at the end of this game you guys are going to see how many um you know how many xp i get for the dribble pull ups now i'm telling you guys you must use the screen and do the hesitation all right now the reason i say use the screen is because you get xp towards uh, pick and roll success and the reason i say use the hesitation is because that counts towards double move leading the score and you guys get a ton of xp for those simple little moves and you guys are going to see at the end of this gameplay this is the last clip i'm going to show you guys take a look at the end of this gameplay look how much xp i get towards all four of these things i showed you guys all right so right here you guys are going to see how important the floaters are take a look at that bro i made four floaters and got 2380 just for four floaters now, a couple games after this, I didn't have my Elgato open. I did a ton of floaters, and I ended up getting 70K that game off of straight floaters, bro. So I highly recommend do a whole bunch of floaters. Um, you see, I get 64 out of 80. I ended up getting 22,000 for moving shots. I'm going to pause it right here. You guys are going to be able to take a look at it. Look, 2,380 for just a couple floaters. Um, I highly recommend, like I said, do more floaters. Ended up getting 22,000 for moving shots. 12,000 for dribble drive success and 11,000 for pick and roll success. So I'm telling you guys right now, this is the fastest way to do it. 12 minute quarters and you're going to be able to wrap up quickly with a shot creator or any archetype that has shot creator in it. All right. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. Make sure to sub to the channel if you haven't already and join the culture. I'm going to catch you guys next time. I'm out.